ora and welcome to Lady Parker Wine Reviews. I am pleased to bring you another wonderful wine review from New Zealand. This time we are in the North Island. We're on the East Coast in Hawke's Bay wine growing region, which is renowned for um, a lot of different varieties, particularly the Bordeaux. But um, I have with me something a little uncommon for Hawke's Bay. And the reason why it is uncommon is that obviously it doesn't grow very well in the traditional parts of Hawke's Bay, but there have been some pockets recently discovered that are perfect for growing this variety. And um, it's, it's recently emerged that, um, that Hawke's Bay can in fact grow some wonderful Pinot Noir due to some of the cooler climates and cooler sort of pockets of, um, of land that Hawke's Bay um, sort of bears. So Hawke's Ridge is one of the few um, wineries that have managed to uh, make a really lovely Pinot Noir. This is their 2009 Pinot Noir and um, they are based on the Ngarurua River, the eastern, the western um, end of the Ngarurua River on the river terraces and um, that they have found is really great for growing Pinot Noir and particularly their winemaker Brent King. Now the proprietors here are Doug and Julie Haynes and they've been going for a long time as a family owned and family operated winery and they produce quite a few of different varieties. This one I'm particularly impressed with so we're going to review this today and um, hey let's get started. So they only use the very best Burgundy, Burgundian clones of um, Pinot Noir and they use Burgundian wine growing and wine making techniques such as racking and hand plunging and cold soaking and um, to create that, that quality that they're after, that they're seeking in the wine. So pouring it out there, we've got um, this wonderful sort of light ruby, not sort of medium, medium ruby sort of colour, lovely sort of intensity there. Really nice. Great nice, yes. On the nose. Mm. Some beautiful like ripe cherries, ripe red, red berries. Of red plums as well. Um, I get some spice, I get cinnamon, clove, mixed spice. I get a little bit, it almost sort of reminds me of, of, a, of a fruit cake. Um, so you've got those lovely dried fruits, those cherries in there, those, that mixed spice coming through as well. And some nice savoury notes too, some nice sort of earthy savoury notes coming through. That's a really beautiful complex nose that's, um, that's, that's coming out of that glass. And look at those legs there running down, that's just, that's beautiful. So on the, on the palette. Mm. It's really rich, sumptuous, it's got some lovely silky tannins that are quite well integrated but they still you can still tell it's a you know it's, it's there and um, it'll sell well because you've got that nice tannin structure. Um, I get again that fruit that lovely sweet fruit coming through. It's a nice dry wine but you get that the fruit sweetness that comes through naturally from the just the quality and the ripeness of the fruit. Um, and wow that is that's stunning I'm really impressed with that. That would go really well with the likes of um, New Zealand lamb or venison. Um, you know, like you imagine a, a warm lamb salad with halloumi and, and some tomatoes, perhaps chucked and thrown in there, some slow roasted tomatoes. That would go beautifully with that. It retails for about the $26 mark, which again is, is fantastic quality for um, what you're getting here. So um, that is the Hawksbridge Pinot Noir 2009. It has 13 months of, um, of maturation and a mix of French and American oak. Uh, and hey, look, that's that's quality in a bottle. I would suggest um, drinking some now, selling some away. Perfect. Sharing with friends. Hey, what a better way to spend an evening. So that is the Hawks Ridge Pinot Noir 2009 from Hawks Bay from the Nada River River. And um, I hope you managed to find a bottle because it's well worth savouring. I'm going to give that a rating of 93. Thanks for watching Lady Parker Wine Reviews and have a lovely evening. Cheers.